Squid Games, dog. So Squid the games. owner, the, the 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 creator of Squid Games, is not getting any residual for the first season that has made Netflix a billion dollars, and he sold his creativity, his rights to the show for one hundred and fifty thousand. D'Lo, how do you feel about Squid Games, bro? And the creator not getting no bread on the back end. Well, I watch Squid Games, and I'll be honest with you. I don't know how people are going to take this. I wasn't too impressed with it. I mean, it was all right, but it wasn't like, it wasn't, it wasn't like, oh yeah, you got to watch Squid Games. I won't tell in multiple people to watch Squid Games. Somebody asked me, oh, what should I watch? I'm not going to say Squid Games. Mm-hmm. But in this regard, as to Netflix making over a billion dollars or reportedly making over a billion dollars on um, the show itself and then the the creator only making 150000 from it, you got to protect your IP at all times, all times. Um, and yourself at all times because major corporations, they will find a way to screw the little man over. Mm-hmm. If, if it's in the name of profits for, for them, they'll find a way to screw you over. And, um, you know, I don't know how Netflix reports or how they know based off of one individual show out of the whole catalogs of different shows that they have on that platform, how the pinpoint oh the revenue is coming from this show specifically. But this guy is only getting or did get not even a percentage of a percentage of what Netflix has made from the actual content that he allowed them to take. So I don't know. Hindsight's twenty twenty. I guess he would, he would probably, you know, have negotiated more money on the back end, uh, or or even negotiated for more money on the front end. However, he wanted to do it. It's it's a, it's a give and take with with this. You know, either you going to get more money on the front end, like a like a Chris Rock who signed forty million for his collection of, of stand up shows, like a Kevin mm-hmm. Hart like those type of individuals. And I know we're talking about celebrities in this instance, but even still $150,000 compared to a billion dollars is pennies, literal, literally pennies to, to Netflix. They could have gave him a little bit more, but you know, like I was saying, it's a give and pull. Either you're going to negotiate for more money on the back end or on the front end and not really worry about what's to come on the back end. Or you're going to say, all right, you want to give me 150 million, 150,000, cool i want a percentage of whatever is to come on the back end so you got to protect your ip at all costs intellectual you, man. is what ip is too right 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 you got to man because the creator of squid games his name is wang young duck and he 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 claims to be good you know what i'm saying who knows if he has any other creative you know creative things out there any other movies or any other plays or whatever whatever creative things that he has out there and who who knows man maybe he did try to go to these broadcast networks so say for instance like what they were saying in the report that i read was that most streaming networks aren't given many residuals but broadcast networks like cable tv and things like that nature are usually a lot more apt to give more residual on the back end to the creators of the shows that they bring onto their networks. But it's, it's gotta come, it's gotta come to a thing where he say he good, you know, he say he the 150,000, he say he not rich, but he's, you know, he's comfortable. He's got food on the table, clothes on his back, roof over his head. He's straight. So who's to say that he doesn't have other projects out there, but you gotta be able to negotiate better to save your creative mind. Yo, like this this squid games and i'm i'm a little bit different from d-lo i loved squid games I, it, at one point it was squid games and stranger things that's all i was watching on netflix at one point so two so, shows <laughs> i do not care anything about my wife wants stranger me to things, watch stranger, stranger things, so things was I'm like, I'm so fire bro and the crazy thing is i haven't watched it they got four seasons of stranger things out now and i ain't watched the, the last two seasons i watched up the season two i don't watch much tv if it ain't sports i don't watch it but yeah but like you got to be able to negotiate more for your creative mind because they have made a billion dollars off of this, off of your show. And for you not to get anything, not even two, three, four, five percent on the back end of your creativity is crazy to me. And not to mention, they done made a billion off of season one, which was a hit uh, to a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Not maybe not D-Lo, but to a lot of people, it was a hit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But to a lot of people, it was a hit. People are anticipating season two. So who's mm-hmm. to say that this is not going to make them two, three, four more billion dollars from season two? And you're not going to get none of that bread, bro. Like, 
that to me is crazy because if you think about it, he's literally only made one percent of what of what they what Netflix made because one one percent, bro. Well, one percent of one percent of a million is a hundred thousand. So, well, ten percent of a million is hundred thousand. So that means one percent of a, of a billion is one hundred thousand. Mm-hmm. That not you what sure? my calculation showed me. Like a billion dollars is hard to fathom. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Now yeah. I'm tripping. I'm bugging out. Me and my math degree done failed yeah. me, nigga. <laughs> he didn't even a get that. He didn't even. You're right. He didn't. Yeah, a percentage get that. of a billion is ten right. million dollars. <laughs> nah, facts. One percent is ten million. You are absolutely right. You're at, and he didn't even get that. He did, he got zero point zero 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 some zeros is in front of that one, nigga. Yeah. So he didn't get no percentage. So you are absolutely right. But bro, like to not that is un that that is crazy that is like something that i've never I when i read this story but i was like there's no way he's not getting residual off that show because the yeah. show was good the show was great right. you know what i'm saying I, mean, I, I think obviously we've never been in that situation well I, I don't know if you've been in that situation or not but i've never been in that situation to where somebody has come to me and said we like whatever you have created hopefully we'll get in that we'll get in that situation in the future hopefully but- as of right now, we've never been in that situation, or I've never been in that situation. So I'm sure for a major, for his being his position, a guy to have a major content producing platform say, hey, we like your idea. We want to create it. At the time, he was ecstatic, but mm-hmm. he had, you know, he had to have all of his, he had to do his due diligence, have his ducks in a row to make sure that you know, he can really profit off of this or benefit. I shouldn't say profit. That's a corporate term. He could Mm -hmm. really benefit from that down the line. Cause we always talk about, especially in our culture, we always talk about generational wealth. You talking about generational wealth that this company is making a billion dollars. And if they just gave you 1%, you talking about a $10 million cut, that's enough to set you up and your family up you know, moving forward, if you do it right for right. at least two or three generations lifetime. So, 100%. I mean, it is what it is. We are here now. It's, uh, he, it's a mishap. Hopefully he learns from it. If he is the creator that if he created it once, he can create it again 100%. and he can, you know, benefit from it in a more better way the next time. Yes, sir. Thank you for watching this video. If you've made it this far, there's a video on the screen right here. Make sure you go ahead and click that and view that. Also, you can find us on all your streaming platforms, wherever you find your podcasts.